Okay, we're going to the house. The little dogs, they're so cute. Look at them little things. There's so many of them here. There must have been a birth or something happened. Hey, little dogs. Oh, I'm gonna spoil you when I get here. Look how cute this one is. Oh, look at them. Oh, that's a mummy dog. <laughs> she talks like Doug. Hey. The little dog. Hey. Oh, the little dogs. Mm, I know what I'm going to do today. I wonder if there's a store I can buy some dog food. Hey. Hey, would you like me to do that? I'm going to check on that today. Hey. Yes. I'm going to buy some dog foods. Mm hmm. Look at the little dogs, hey, the little dogs. <laughs> oh, don't be skittish. I'm like, I could be your best friend. <laughs> if that was bad, because I had the viewfinder facing the wrong way. And I still have another coffee in my hand. Anyways, so that's five dogs now. Hey, oh, the little dogs following me. Got a rip in her ear, had a little fight, I guess. So there's three here. Two down at the other. Three here, or is it three at the other? No, there's three down by the beach house. These three, you know what's going to happen, eh? <laughs> They're all going to be hanging around my place. They will. I'll feed them. I'm bad. Everybody go. Everybody will be wondering, like, why are the dogs getting bigger? <laughs> because I can't feed Doug, and then have like five or six little dogs running around. They're real skinny. I, I'm, I can't do that. <laughs> Doug's gonna lose a little bit of weight though. He'll, uh, <laughs> he's gonna get a little thinner. Oh, look at this, folks. Man, that house is big. Look at it. Oh, people on my property. Oh no, they went around the gate. They're the other property. It looks like they were going on oh, no, my property, but they're not. My God, uh, I can't believe this. Like the guy that took care of the house for years, cleaned everything up. Okay, so I don't have to do the blurring out anymore because, well, it's mine. So my property starts right here, okay? And that thing you see up on the top of the hill, that's the gate for the road behind the property. But all of this is mine. All of this, look at that, eh? Okay, there's something wrong here. I'm missing part of a gate. Yeah. <laughs> they stole my gate, folks. <laughs> Look at that. I was wondering the other day. Yeah. Someone took the gate. Unbelievable. All right. Well, that nah, happens. Oh, somebody's ever, everybody's watching the house, eh? They, they don't know me, that I'm the, uh, the, the owner. Look at that, they're all piling up, cleaned the place up, raked her all up. Yes, sir. Hola. Man, did they ever clean her? I gotta come up here. I'm gonna come up later with my work boots on because I wanna walk around. I'm in my Crocs and the last time I walked around here, um, I got a, a cactus in my foot. You know? I go down the hill here. I gotta find the line where it goes down at the wall. Oh, I see the line, which I'm going to go later, but uh, this hill belongs to me. And the gate, I think this, this fence, yeah, this fence belongs to my property. Yeah, this fence, this is my fence. So. So they started building the fence, and then they stopped. 
but I'm going to do a wall. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go in and uh, see the inside by ourselves here. Even though it's a wood door and they could just bang right through it, but I'm gonna get a proper lock for Sandy. There's no key for the front door. Nobody knows where the key is for the front door. There's nothing in the house that you can, unless they want to steal my toilets in the house. I want to see how big of a catalog I can get. Oh yeah, you swept her all out. Oh my God. I don't believe I own this. <laughs> so I'm gonna open the door and you can see that this is it. It's technically, a garage, driving garage, which I, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace this door. I'm 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 know what I'm gonna do, folks. Is I'm gonna build uh, a building. I'm gonna probably take that whole section out there, and I'm gonna build a building just for my garage and just for my stuff. So let me grab my coffee. No, I can't. Yeah, I gotta do coffee. No, well, no, there comes Sandy. No, Sandy's not coming over. All right. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so this is the garage, and uh, we got the steel door that goes out to the patio area at the front. Sandy's coming, <laughs> uh, the guy that's going to watch my house. So there's a bathroom down here. Yeah. There's, oh, it's got a urinal. Look at that. Oh, that's a party place. Look at that, folks. You know what's serious when your garage has a urinal? Oh, the shower. The sink was there. Someone stole the toilet. But, you know, it needs a little bit of work. But, hey, I, I, I got lots of room to play. I only got seven grand involved in this. In this. You know? It's, uh... Oh, that's a fridge that is nasty looking inside. Oh, it's missing all its parts. Top was looking bad though. All right, eh? What is Diaz, Sandy? Morning, Matt. This is Sandy. Say hello to Canada. TV. <laughs> Sa Sandy only has very limited English. He's a more believer. <laughs> I, I have limited Spanish, so. But I'm going to talk to Sandy. Well, we're going to try to communicate, and I'm going to finish this video. Okay, so folks, so Sandy, the gentleman that uh, I just introduced you, his house, I saw his house, amazing stonework, and I said, my God, that's just beautiful. And then uh, he, I just found out this is what he does. He does stonework. And I want a big stone wall, but I got to show you the wall that's on his house. And I'm going to walk, when I walk back to the house, I'll show you his house. The stonework is crazy. That's his house right there. That's the stonework that goes up to his house. Look at that, eh? And I want to, uh, I want to do the whole property with that kind of stonework. And that's what he does. That's his job. That's exactly what he does. Exactly who I'm looking for. What are the odds of that? I want my house, my property surrounded by stonework perimeter. And he, the guy watching my house, is a stonemason. <laughs> it's like, my God. It's like I'm telling you folks, it's like the universe is just putting everything in place. Like, unbelievable. Like I could actually, this guy could be working on this thing. I give him, I give him some full-time work. Unbelievable. My God. This house, I can't believe I paid $7,000 for it. Is it this stairwell? I gotta do something with this stairwell. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's too small. Um, there's a kitchen, which I'm gonna redo the kitchen. I want a real kitchen um, with cup cupboards and all that kind of neat stuff, which that stuff is like cost nothing. Well, no, it doesn't cost nothing, but it's certainly a lot less than we're used to. So this is like the, I guess, the, the, the dining room area, uh, you know, which is, it's pretty big. So this is like the dining room area. And uh, we've got the, 
two, whoa, little bird just flew by. <laughs> uh, then we got a bedroom in here. All right. We got a bathroom in here. Another bedroom in here. Yeah. Looks like they, that's how they did the plumbing. They put a kitchen upstairs and so oh, we'll just put the pipe down through the, uh, um, the ceiling. So I like it. But all the stuff in here is stuff that I can do that I actually enjoy doing. Like it won't bother me to do this work. It'll be cool. I've never worked with uh, cement, uh, but I'm doing the windows. The windows are getting changed. I want screens on everything because I want to be able to have everything open with screens. And then have, I don't know what, some kind of blind system inside to close it. Because basically you never need a window, a glass. Glass just uh, holds the heat in. So this is the power service coming into the house. That's the main line. Looks like it's being disconnected. Like I said, I got some figuring to do. I'll be doing, I'm gonna be redoing stuff. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun house to do. It's almost gonna be uh, like a, I don't know, like a, a, a fort type thing. I don't know what you could think about. Anyway, so this is the kitchen, dining room area. This is another bedroom, which today I'm getting a tool. This door is going to get pried open. Probably going to be a little damage happen to her, but it doesn't matter. I don't like it. I actually, I might even kick it in with my work boots. I'm, uh, I'm not going to wreck it. I'm going to get a tool to pry it open. I'm going to go to the tool shop today. Now, let's go upstairs. Oh, look at the birds. They're flying all over the place here. And we've got a party area here, well, balcony, you know. This is, uh, this house was built in stages. That's why the, the way it is. But this, look at that, hey, all that land is mine. <laughs> it actually is mine. I own land in a tropical country. Brings tears to my eyes almost. I see so much potential here. Oh, little hammock holders. They got a hammock hook here. And then over here, hammock hooks. So I can have hammocks. And you can just sit here. And this is the view for the hammocks. Look at that, eh? My God, look at that. Unbelievable. And this is just from the, uh, you know, when you're having morning coffee for your cafe in the morning. You know, but that, there's sandy stonework. Look at that. The guy who did that stonework lives right there, and he's the guy who looks after my house. I don't know, folks. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm a, I believe in destiny and things being mapped out for you, but uh, I don't believe it. I just can't believe why everything just, this house is like, now he's falling in place. Yeah, so anyways, I gotta, I gotta put security on the outside edges here, bars, uh, because this separates. This is locked because you can get in up here, but I'm gonna, there'll, there'll be security up here. Bars, because all of this is gonna come out. All of this here is gonna come out because this, goes up to my bedroom. That's where my bedroom is gonna be, is up here. Oh, we got something here. Let's see, let's see here. Oh, storage. What do we got in here? Christmas lights. Oh, there's a screen, eh? I got, eh? There's a screen, but I'm gonna have screens everywhere. Yeah. Right on. Pretty 
obviously. All right, let's go upstairs to the uh, the the future bedroom. And I got to do something with the roof situation here. We got a little bit of work to do. I don't know how we're going to do this, but I got a problem. live in a place where I constantly have to watch my head. There's gotta be somewhere. I, I, got, I got some figuring to do. Figuring. And there's like, you know, employ people to do this. I might have to... I don't know how I do this. It looks like a structural part of it here too. Sorry about this, folks. It looks like a structural part of it. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this bigger. Uh, but see, they're so short down here, it wouldn't matter to but this is uh, where my bedroom is going to be. I guess they were like doing another apartment or something. It's like they got a whole other kitchen up here. Oh. You know? I think that's the septic. I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta, or the, that's the septic. That would probably, that's probably the septic down there. Now my property line goes there. Pretty awesome, eh? You know, this cement work, I'm looking here, you know, they polish it or the way they work it, it looks like a, a marble. I don't know, they, it must be this, the mix they're using. But that's the view from upstairs. That's pretty awesome, eh? Is that a crazy view? Look at that. That's pretty nice. For seven thousand dollars, folks. All right. So my bedroom situation. So this is uh, the front bedroom, the little bedroom, to make this what I want. I got some work. Oh, <laughs> look at Sandy. That's uh, his lookout tower. That he saw me. He was up there doing the morning perimeter watch. He watches this area. That's what he does. These gotta get busted out. These perma beds. I have no idea why they would have perma beds. Anyways. So my plan is this room. Oh, and the doorways are exactly my height. Oh, that's bad. Uh, that doorway, this, that whole wall is gonna take it out and joined up with here. So it'll go through. So my bedroom will look uh, completely around. And then this is uh, my bathroom, is here for my bedroom, my bedroom bathroom, which is not bad. This one's good because the toilet is way, I got room, I'm not, I, I got actually room around it. So, sometimes I put these toilets close to the wall, it's brutal, like really close to the wall. And the sink, it never got installed. So. So that's the uh, the bathroom, which, oh, here's some electrical stuff. I'm probably, not probably, I'm 99 points percent sure. I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure. I'm not even gonna try to screw around with the, the, the electrical situation in here. I'm just gonna run surface conduit and then paint it. I'll, get, I'll make it look pretty, the surface conduit type thing. Anyways, um, and this is another bathroom. Oh. Which, who knows what happened? I might knock that wall out. And then there's this bedroom. Which I'm thinking I'm going to join it all together. I gotta figure something out. I got some figure to do. So, you know. 
So there's what? How many bedrooms did we see? One, two, three up here, and three. So six bedrooms. It wasn't eight. Six, three. Six bedrooms. And one, two, three, four, and four bathrooms. Two. Yeah, four. There's two up here. Two downstairs. Oh, five. The one in the party room. So five bathrooms. Six bedrooms, five bathrooms. Everybody needs that when you're living alone with a dog. Anyways, um, like there's this place, one thing about this place, like normally they have like one single wall plug and that's it, but they've, uh, they went to a lot of work. They've got wall plugs everywhere. But then you look at this side, they didn't cut the hole big enough to put a plug in. It's like it's gotta be cut out more. But they got wall plugs all over the place, you know? Right. Okay, there's another wall plug. Man, they really, they actually, you know, they almost think this was electrified by Matt, because I put this many plugs in myself personally. And I'm really shocked. Oh, what? What is this? That's uh, Sandy's brother. They're cleaning up here. Uh, they don't have to, but they feel like they should. They want to make it look good for me because they took. They feel that uh, they took care of this place for three years watching it. So they want to make sure that I'm happy with it. Uh, they want, uh, they've been raking here and they're cleaning up and they're gonna burn everything and got to haul all the garbage away and they want $10. And they've been working here for five days. <laughs> Two guys for $10. Uh, put a railing around here so I can walk around my house. This is like a, a perimeter guard, you know, so you can walk around. That goes all the way down here. But I definitely have a railing. Get a little bit too cervezas in here and uh, you'd be, uh, you could have a problem. Fall, hurt, break your leg. That'd suck. Look at that, eh? That is just freaking amazing. I can't believe I, I did it. I actually pulled it up. Oh, look at that. And you, you, when you got a sink and your gray water, we just run running out the wall here. Yeah, I gotta do a little bit of plumbing modifications on that. <laughs> gotta do a little bit of plumbing modifications on that one. Like I said, you know, there's, there's, there's like, there's work to do, but, uh, well, that's bizarre. The sign's gone. Yeah, the, the, the for sale sign's gone off the side of the place. Sandy must have took it down. I'm not. Like, what a base to start from for $7,000. Like, oh, look at this. I can walk around, I didn't even realize that. I can walk around the whole thing. I need to have a railing around my whole house. I got some work. But it's so cheap to get stuff done here, folks. Like, you look at all of this, and it's like, oh, so much work to do. But it's like, it's li literally, put it this way. I could probably do everything with the $10,000 limit you're allowed to bring into the country without having to declare it. That's how cheap stuff is here. So for 10 grand, it, actually, Abram thinks $8,000 would finish this place. I think it'll be 20 by the time I'm done because I'm gonna make it pretty nice. That's my goal. Like I'm leaning towards making this my bedroom. Because it's just me, I, I, you know, and I've, I, downstairs can be uh, 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 another person's, uh, what you call it, um, visitors, I guess, visitors, I guess you could say. Because I, I, I'm really thinking like, why not make this my complete bedroom? You know, because every bedroom needs a wet bar, you know? Every bedroom needs a work surface, you know, but a nice little, some chairs here, you know, get the exact right chair height for this, and this could be my desk for doing my, you know, computer and YouTube. And like, well, this wouldn't be too bad to sit here and, you know, you're doing your editing for YouTube and, you know, this is your view. You know, that's not bad. I'm, uh, I'm thinking I could live with that, you know? I'm thinking I could, and I think, yeah, this, uh, if I get the right height, the chair, because it's not far off, folks. I'm measuring here on my hip and where it is. I could, if I got the right size, the right size of chair, now it would be, there's my YouTube desk for working. Nice big work surface. My computers, 
my bedroom. Take out some walls, break some things out. Just a ridiculous amount of room in your bedroom. Yeah. And this is your view. Put screens up here on the windows because there's a uh, constant breeze up here. Constant breeze. If this was all, uh, you, you could sleep up here. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. But the only thing I have a problem with is this. I gotta think of something. I gotta do some measuring. And there's got to be another way of uh, of doing this. This is my this is my engineering architectural uh, project. Is how do I get a staircase that I don't hit my head? Now that's going to be a difficult problem. I might have to do a little bit of big, a little bit of construction here, and some major busting out. Who knows? Who knows? You know? Because yeah, these stairs are too tight. The head here. Yeah, I gotta figure something out. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. There's gotta be a way of doing it. There's gotta be. Gotta be. There has to be. Maybe I'll cut a hole in the wall or the floor. You know, and come up from inside and block that right out and take that right out. That might be. That might actually be a better idea. And then I wouldn't have to do. I could leave this open up here so that my view, if you're sitting here, is always like this. Well, that could be a possibility, eh? You know, so there's no bars on this area. Leave it open and, uh, and just punch a hole through the floor. That would probably be better, actually. Block that off. That would actually be easier. You know? I got some work to do. It's gonna be fun though. It's gonna be a fun, I think a year, a year with crews helping here. And like who really matters if, if I lose a little bit of room down here for a staircase. I could actually turn one of the bedrooms and oh, that little bird keeps flying. There must be a nest in here. Yeah, there's no nest. Why does a little bird keep coming through here? There's no nest in this bathroom. I got lots of figuring to do. Lots of figuring. Yeah. I got things to figure out. It's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, this is the Duck Adventure Home, future home. Definitely a complete new kitchen gets put in with, with uh, kitchen cupboards and all that kind of neat stuff. The dining room area. I got some bigger food. All right, exciting stuff. But for seven thousand dollars to start with a base of seven thousand, like this, you can't. Yeah, I don't like this staircase. I, got, I might have to cut the floor out, cut this out, make it be the hole bigger, and then reinforce it with with a plate steel, because it looks like a plate steel reinforcement around it. So, but there's like professionals here, tons of them, tons of them. They're everywhere. They're absolutely everywhere. And they work ridiculously cheap. I gotta go down and buy tools today. I think I'll do a little bit of screwing around in the next two days before I leave. Yeah, this is exciting stuff, eh? Exciting, folks. Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe it. Unbelievable. I'm, uh, my mind is just going. Just going. Hammock hangers everywhere, though. I like their hammocks here. And the locks. Nobody knows where any locks are. Keys or nothing. Everything got lost. Over the years. And that's the uh, staircase to go down the front.
That's pretty cool, right? I'm gonna grab my coffee mug. Oh yeah, it looks like, I think Sandy was taking the $7,000 off. It looks like he washed the walls. When I come back later with my work boot, I'll uh, uh, bring the camera and walk around the outside edge. I'm not walking around here with my uh, Crocs on. I did that last time. Ground's really rough. We got some landscaping to do here, so. Just a little bit exciting stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go have my breakfast. Then I'm going to Kumana to buy some uh, supplies that I need here. Tools, locks, that kind of stuff. Lock her up and get Sandy set up here. Have my meeting with Sandy this afternoon for my watching because he's going to watch the property and make sure nobody moves in because that's a problem here. An abandoned building like this, somebody could move in on you. A squatter and uh, we don't want that. I don't want to be dealing with, you know, a, uh, I don't want to be dealing with uh, uh, a squatter when I return. This has to be changed to, to it's just wood, that's all it is. That'll stop nobody. Yeah, I'm gonna come back with my boots. I know I'm not enjoying walking around here in my Crocs, I hate it. It's too uncomfortable. Like I got Sandy's, <laughs> there's a stone guy right beside me. And I just happen to need a crap load of stonework. I'll probably give him a year's worth of work. Yeah. Yeah, that's unbelievable. But they stole my gate. <laughs> I don't believe it because there was a gate here before. Oh, man. You know? <laughs> that's just. Oh, too funny. Too funny. Too funny. That's really funny, actually. I think it's cute. Anyways, so that's Sandy's uh, stonework. That's what he did. But I'll take you around to the front of his house. And uh, I'll show you his driveway. Like, I was impressed when I met him originally. And uh, we had to uh, um, get him to show us the property and fill us in on what the deal was. And I was like, my God, this is really nice. Little dog footprints in the cement. Sorry, folks. I'm, I'm so excited walking around here. Look at this. When they poured the cement, the little dogs <laughs> walked all around the floor. Oh, that's so funny. But anyways, this is Sandy's house here. I'm going to go in there because that's one thing about here. You don't just walk onto their property. You actually stand at somebody's gate and uh, you you yell to them. You know? But... This is his house. Look at that, eh? So, that's, I want a little smoother than that. Like, I want a little more raised concrete. And so it's not so rough. But that's what I want to look like. Except a little smoother. A little, but not slick. But, that's, uh, and that's, the, that's exactly the type of rock that's exactly, I, that's, I saw walls like that around here, and I, that's what I want. So, you see, look at it. Like, he's got a nice place, eh? Nice perimeter. I think it was, I've never walked down this here. Let's go for a little walk here. I have uh, never done this here in my neighborhood. Now, I think this is Sandy's too, it's the same rock. Look at all the rock work he did. That's like, this is exactly what, uh, I want my place to look like. Yeah, this is better. This is smoother. This is what I want, I want my driveway like. Look at that, eh? Is that nice? I think it's nice. Maybe some people won't, but I do. My God, you just see the stonework in his house. Maybe later, Sandy will let me have a video. My, that's, man, this guy's house is what I want to turn my place into. Unbelievable. So this is somebody else's house. Okay, so you can't go around. I thought maybe this circled around, but it doesn't. These are my neighbors. I gotta meet all these people. Look at the stonework, eh? See, this was originally, this complex was originally estate homes. It was a, a, a Ascenda Hondo. Uh, it's on Google Maps, actually. It was a real estate development that uh, collapsed with the country and nothing ever happened. 
So homes were built here in this uh, estate planned subdivision, I guess you could call it. And then it just stopped. So that's why like my place got, you know, partially built and stopped. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, Sandy wants to tell me something because my neighbor, they're trying to tell me something. I don't know what's going on. In my house. But we're going to, yes, yeah, see, you. I was just looking at your house. He doesn't understand me. Uh, we have very limited communication. Like I said, this was a development that, that collapsed. And uh, it's all, you know, they're nice homes. There's, you know, they're not, they're not finished. So they, they just, people just ran out of money and you know, that's the way it is. So but anyways, we're going to get my translator. Sandy has to tell me something and I don't know what's going on. So it turned out uh, what Sandy wanted uh, for my neighbor that I just met with the little girl there. Uh, uh, they the fridge that I said to you guys was disgusting. It doesn't work. And they need something to store stuff in. And I, they asked me if I could have the fridge, and I said, "Sure, you can have the fridge." Anyways, see, they could have just took it, but they ask. Well, that's nice. Neighbors saves me throwing it out because I was like, I gotta get rid of this thing. So they've got a use for it to uh, use it as storage. But I'm gonna have my breakfast because I'm starved now. And uh, it doesn't look like anybody's eaten here this morning yet while I was gone. Anyways, I'm off to eat. Okay, uh, a what's up update here. We're at the license bureau here. And what's taking place is we're bribing officials right now to get my registration and my driver's license. And they uh, want $120 for the bribe to do the registration and $20 for my license, but I give them a $10 tip because it's making it happen faster. But uh, because I don't have my ID card, which takes can take a month to get, uh, I'm not in the system, but there's somebody in the building that has the ability to override the system, and we know the person, and we're all waiting outside, <laughs> paying government officials to break the rules to uh, register me with the, uh, the truck, which is right there. And then tomorrow we get insurance. But I'm going to have a driver's license next. So a driver's license, I won't even need my international driver's license anymore. I'm going to be like a, a, a Venezuelan, but illegal, and can barely speak Spanish. So there's, a, there's an update for you. Let's take a look. This is where I am, at the license bureau. What a crazy, crazy time I'm having, folks. I, I haven't done a lot of videos because it's just, it's just nuts, the stuff that's going on. It is. It really is. It's. I was. I wish I had my pivot heads on earlier driving for you, which I'm going to try on the way back because it was like driving with ants and the cars and the people and oh, it was it was a rush and a half. Okay, we're going now. Uh, my my sexy lawyer, uh, Zurikama, is uh, in there because the official that is doing the overriding of the system to put me into their system uh, and create a whole new ID for me here in Venezuela um, went out. So they're waiting for him or her to come back, or the, for him or her, I don't know who it is. And uh, she's going to uh, take care of my ID, my driver's license, and all that kind of stuff here at the Venezuelan ID place. I thought I was going inside, so I brought my pivot hands with me, but I'm not. But when you're at the license bureau and you want to make your own license, look at that, eh? they make their own license plate here. Uh, that's just hilarious. So, uh, as I said in the WhatsApp video, we're just bribing a license official right now so that I can get my registration and my driver's license. But, uh, that's so funny. At the license bureau, and they got, they make their own license plates. Well, whoever, someone did that. I wonder if he has a real one on the back side of his car. And I, ironically, folks, nope, doesn't have a license plate. Uh, this vehicle, the person that pulled up was actually a police officer uh, coming in with a, a propane tank. So. so the police officer is driving with a homemade license plate. So the driving here is pretty well, uh, just go for it. I'll uh, try to capture some of the crazy driving when we're uh, in downtown. I don't know if we're headed back that way. We're going to a tool store. So these cars are waiting for gas because of this strange gas shortage in uh, a state that has a refinery. Makes no sense. I 
think the refinery here is a heating oil refinery. Something tells me this. I don't think it's a gas refinery. I think they're trading heating oil for gas on the open market and then bringing the gas into the country. But for some reason, there's nothing in Kumano. But in uh, Puerto de la Cruz, there's gas. Según el chino, yo La gandola no quieren venir para acá. Bueno, lo que estoy diciendo es que las colas están. There is a place where you, you can buy food for a dog. ¿La esquerda? Sí. Yeah. Where? Over here? Yo. Yeah. Las colas sí. están esperando. Sí. Pero es que los camiones no quieren que quieren cargar para acá. Esto es flecha porque esto necesita los dinero. I think we're driving down the wrong side of the road. Yeah, like the corner. Ahora digo yo, Judy, si el tipo tiene tanta influencia, tanto poder más que por un barco oh. y me monto yo del operativo. Yeah. Digo un barco que no llegue a la gandola. ¿Está aquí? ¿Aquí? Ok, so. Venga, no problema, venga. So the good dog food there? Ok, so you stay here. Security. Okay. Okay. Matt. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna get dog food for the little dogs at the house because there's like five of the little skinny runs. So I'm gonna feed them the next three days, four days, three days. I'm leaving in three days. Don't look at this, eh? There, I think both back. Okay, you have oh, to you have to ask? Oh, okay. But how do they know what I want? Because I don't speak to Spanish. <laughs> only two? I, they only have two. Do you see more on this rack? No. That's why I need to grab these. Because we can go to another place. No, this is good. I only want two. Only two? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm only here for three days. There's only five little dogs. But wouldn't it make more sense to carry it up and go pay? We need a piece of paper. We have to write paper out, an order, and then we go to another person and they they have a system. $17 each one. Each one? Okay. So that's $34. $34 for the little dogs. Oh, I can do that. Oh my god, I got it. Bye. Thirty-four. Ready. Grass. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's wait for the the beef. That that must be imported. Mm -hmm. It can't be local perina. <laughs> Grasses. Yeah, so we're we're let's look on the bag here. Where is it made? What country? Is it so? I don't have my real glasses on here. No, it's Venezuela. Mm -hmm. I gotta look at this later. Does it look like where it's made here? What does that say? This is a social network. Oh social network it doesn't say where it's made. It must be in Venezuela. All right, we got dog food for the little dogs. Oh, they're gonna be so. They're gonna like me. Okay, we're uh, going to the beer store. Ah, ok. 
Rocky. Oh, now it's just closed. Oh, it's closed. Oh, it's closed. Okay, we go to another beer place. Is the tool place close? For the tools, is the tool store? This one? No, the tools. The tools. tools. Uh, it's near here. Another Which is close? This one. Okay. Uh, The tool store will also sell locks, you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You think? Okay. Right there, right. Are you gonna stay, Judith? Are you security? Yeah. Okay. No beer. no beer. Unbelievable. No beer. Oh, wood furniture place. <laughs> he almost had me there. Oh. Recto. Si. Sí.
The green one? Do you think it has more selection? This one you mean? We can park and just walk. Yeah. Alright, now I can put glasses on that I can see. Alright, so um Do we have any do we have a shovel here? Do they have shovels? Shovel. Do you know what a shovel is? No. For to dig oh, to dig. A shovel. You to, to dig? Let me translate. Una chicora. Chicora. No, 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 no. Just a regular shovel. Hang on here. I don't see any tools here like that. Hang on. Let me just see. Oh, yeah. Okay. What do we got back here? No, not that, but it's similar to with this, but similar to that, but we need one with a, a pointy end. Ah, okay, una, una pala. Pala redonda. Sí. You see, you see. But no chain, there are no big chains. Perfect. These are the same keys. Esta, esta. Este que peso. So I got the, the big door, sliding door, uh -huh. the door upstairs. No, this is not the price. No, 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 okay. not the price. This is the no, no, let me see. Can I oh, okay. touch it? Touch it. Yeah. I don't, I really don't care what the price is. I got no choice. Do I have a choice? No. Okay, no problem. Okay, so there's the same key. Hay dos tacos, pero para la línea master nada más de una puerta. Esta que está acá. Es que es dependiendo de la. Esta es una puerta eléctrica. Dos millones doscientos ochenta. Este. Sí. ¿Cuántos dólares? Veintiocho. Twenty-eight. Okay. All right. And uh, esta. Yeah. No problem. Esta. That'll work. I just need it for the other door. It says six dollars, six dollars, okay. And a shovel. But no chain. Chain. No, there is something like that one. They want you just to use all. Para matero. No. That's a para. Para, 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 para dog? Ah, uh -huh. para perro. Yeah, perro, yeah. A little bit. I only, I only need this much chain for that padlock, like that much. Okay, there is no the. No shovels. No, they, they, they want to show you. That's it. Okay. But we have another place here. Okay. So are you going to, to buy only? But I wonder if they have locks too. Okay. So I got, all they have is a hundred dollar bill. Ah, uh, all right. So I wanted to buy everything at one hey, place. Same and place. Okay. Bueno, vamos a so a almost, a we maybe return. Or can they change a hundred? Can they change a hundred dollar bill? Can they break? We, we can change. We don't uh, have change. No Anna, change. No. Oh, you speak English? Yes. <laughs> I'm Matt. Anna. Anna, hello Anna. How good is your English? Huh? How good is your English? Um, ten, one, ten, one. seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we return. Okay. Because I only have a hundred dollar bill. Uh, it's okay. Okay. We, we work at twelve. We Are you close it all? No, I want to leave at 12. I don't want to come back at 2. <laughs> I'll be back real fast. Okay. I return. Okay. Okay, no, no, no.
Ah, yeah, let's try another place. Okay, let's, let's, we'll see what they got. I just would like if I could get it all in one place, and it'd be simple. Okay, just look around here. The shovels should stick out, so they've got generators here, and uh, I, they got some chain for me. Well, actually, they're selling me the display off of there. They're giving me a piece of it for three bucks. So I can put on the door of the new casa for, uh, for Matt and Doug. Not having much luck finding a shovel though. I got a pry bar, which ironically I'm just doing to save a door so I don't have to kick the door off the hinges to get into the bedroom. And, and it's actually a little overkill on the size of the pry bar, but I just don't want to, I could kick the door in, but I don't want to wreck the door. My first tools in Venezuela. All right, so I got I got my locks, my crowbar, so I don't have to bust the door, and extra light bulbs. Well, the dog food's gone. Oh, it's in the truck. I thought someone stole their dog food. Okay, so now we have change for a shovel. This is an interesting store. Very friendly atmosphere to welcome you in to buy stuff. Venezuela. <laughs> Does he think he has one? Does he think he has a shovel? Oh my god, I got, I got 12, 10. Uh -huh. Okay. If you have another five, I give you, I think I have to give you two back. You have two, you think? Yeah, I think, I think so. Because I have three, I have three singles. El tiene ese. Tiene okay, so one, and they're, they're, I just made them. They're like, <laughs> see how nice they are? They're like really yeah. crisp, right? Brand new. Uh, you speak English? Yeah, I went to high school in the United States. Oh, okay, I'm from Canada. You tell me about it. Right now, it's minus 30 there. Excuse me, my English. I yeah, no, no, I... I don't get a chance to talk too much. No, no problem, no problem. All right, I have an English-speaking construction supplier co contact. Oh, yes. Things are good. Things are coming together, right? The, uh, the last place that has a shovel turns out to be the actual contact I need for the future. Easier ordering tools if this person speaks English. So, all right. Now, beer. And what else? And juice. Juice, right, juice. Matches. And Matches for the oven. All right, we're almost headed back here. This will be an early day. Here we have uh, here by the, the beers. Okay. Well, see, they have beer. The beer, jamón. Jamón. Ahí de todo. Are you security, Judith? No, you, are you security? Okay, I'm leaving the key. Oh, she's coming out? Okay, the keys are in the truck. No. They don't have cheese, but the beers. I don't care about the cheese. Good. 
Yeah. How much? Oh, they got the exchange. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they don't know. They don't know. She doesn't. Negrita Pequito. La de 222. La de 36. Está retornado. 77. Casi 19. 19. 19. 19. Go, 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 the money. I just want to. The negra. The Oh, I don't know. See? Sí. <laughs> no bear. I joke. <laughs> oh, I, I, I want to buy boulevards from you. You have some pretty ones. It doesn't have any value. No, no, no big ones? There's some 500s. Uh -huh. I, I want to buy. I want to buy a one dollar worth of those. No, 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 do you have the 500? Is there a 500? Cinco? El de, el de What's that one? No, you don't have enough, right? Okay. No 500s. Only 100. Yeah, there are twos. No, I don't want little ones. Abram. Chavez. And matches. Which way? Directo? Directo? Which way? Izquierda. Izquierda, okay. Derecha, derecha. Derecha, okay. All right, right. We're going to Recha. Today is a heightened military uh, situation because today is a, uh, is, has a significant uh, uh, historical. <coughs> influence of a revolution and uh, the opposing parties uh, political parties in the country have issued a warning that some kind of stupid things going to happen today so there's military everywhere <laughs> I guess you could sort of say that it was like a terrorist threat uh, but by domestic Venezuelan citizens that are not happy with the government. But then again, who's happy with their government? <laughs> not happy with mine in Canada, I can tell you that. Cerveza at the playa. Uh -huh. Oh no, se vista? Bañarse. Bañarse? En la playa. En la playa. No, no. No? No, no. <laughs> no. Sí, yes. Uh, no, uh, sí. no los he. No, no los he. Visto? Visto? Bañarse? Banase? Bañarse. Banase. Bañarse. 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 En la playa. En la playa. There you go, folks. This is my this is my Spanish lesson. There is a a place for where we can buy cheese. I hope so. Uh, where you see the the truck. The white truck. The, the blanco camion. <laughs> camion blanco. Camion blanco. Okay. Y tú responde cuando Judy pregunta que no los he visto bañarse en la playa. 
Tú le dices agua muy fría. Ah, no, the, the, the caliente no, from the sun. No, pero dicen, no me ha visto porque el agua está muy fría. The, no, no, Explica fría no problem problema with the sun. <laughs> with the, the, the soul. The, 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 the frío no problema with the, the soul. Noche. No te no bon. No te no bon. Bueno, en Canadá no hay frío. No. Yeah, Canadá mucho frío, ya, yeah, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí no hay otro bodegón por aquí. Okay, we have security, someone staying? Cesar, dile a Cesar, encendedor, jamón, queso, jugo, pexicola para la Cuba Libre. Oh my God, they won't have all of that. They're not going to have that. Cesar. There's no way they're going to have Abram's list here. There is no way? There is no way they're going to have everything Abram wants. Uh-huh. He wants... Cheese. Ham. Ham. Uh, soda. Coca-Cola. Why? We got beer. Because he wants to drink with the... Oh, the rum. The rum. The rum. Right. All right. Okay. And, and juice. juice. The juice. Okay. Yam, cheese. But no matches. No. Well, maybe and matches. Yes. Juice? Orange juice. One. See? Do you have mango juice too? No. What do they have? Okay. Orange. Peach. Peach. Give us one peach, one orange. One orange, one peach. But the, the, the peach is. Oh, no. Okay. Right. No. Okay. Good. Do those orange. Those. Those orange. What else? One soda. No, two Coca Cola. Dos, dos, dos Coca Cola. Dos Coca Cola. Jamón, queso y. This cheese, folks, is like curds, but it's in a block, and they cut it. It's exactly like curds. It's identical. So, and my pivot heads are dying. I can see the light flashing here, so we're going to lose the uh, video any minute. But I just wanted you to know, this is the uh, Venezuelan version of curds, but it's in a block, and it's really good. They don't shred it like we do. So anyway, we're getting ham and uh, Coca-Cola for Abrams rum. And, uh, and juice. And then we're gonna go to the beach and drink beer. I'm getting chocolate for my uh, my sexy lawyer, and the chocolate uh, is under lock and key. Only one person in the bakery has the key. I guess they're worried that their staff are gonna eat their expensive chocolates. Esther, Esther's this, right? Whew. Pretty soon I'll be fluent. <laughs> I think. That is it. <laughs> no mice, no mice. No mice. No mice. I'm sorry folks, but I totally screwed up. I got home here and I was so excited that I had dog food with me and I fed the dogs 
and man, I've never seen anything like it in my life. But I'm gonna wait about four hours, three hours, and I'm gonna give them another snack because they just ate too much. Uh, but uh, they're all at the gate waiting. Look at this, my new friends. Hey, little, oh, my little cuties. Hey, this one's a pup. Hey, you're a little sweetie, eh? Hey, aren't you? Hey? This is really, she's little, all the dogs pick on this one. Is this the youngest? Oh, you're a little sweetie, aren't you? Oh, look at you. You're a little pup, aren't you? See, they're all coming over to me now, eh? Because I'm the guy with the dog food. <laughs> this one's really skittish. Hey? Hey? <laughs> Little dogs? Oh, you're this, you like, you're just a little, this one is pushy for attention. Hey? Eh? So I got two bags of dog food. It was, uh, they're four kilogram bags. And, uh, they're, you're a cutie too, eh? Are you? Hmm? <laughs> oh, this one here is pushing up on me bad. Oh, you're a little sweet dog. Hmm? See, look at them all, eh? Look at them. I got, I got a whole bunch of friends, folks. Mm -hmm. Hey, my little dogs. Come here. Come on. Hmm? No, oh, the little puppies. Hey. Anyways, four kilograms of food was 17 US. Look at how thin they are. Right? So I got two bags. But I could see, uh, I'll be honest with you, I can see all these dogs end up living with me. The neighbors don't know it yet, they're gonna lose their dogs because they ain't gonna hang around. He looks like a miniature German Shepherd. But I, I, I can see it because they're gonna stick where the food is. And if they're always coming over to us and Doug, they're gonna get fed. Mm -hmm. This one is so cute. I don't know what it is, but this one uh, is so friendly to me. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he bites by hand, but he's really gentle. Like he's really, really gentle. Hey, 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 no. I don't tolerate that. No fighting. Everybody gets along. We're missing one dog. There's one more dog here. Where is he? That's bizarre. I'm positive there's one more dog. It was so exciting though, feeding five. It was five. Hey, I could probably, I could see us having five new pets. Mm, the neighbors don't know they're going to lose their dogs. All right? They can think they're yours, but they'll end up being at our place. Mm, you can meet Doug. Hey? Come here, little dog. Come here. Yeah, I think that one gets beaten up a lot. All right, so I promise the next time I feed them, I'll, I'll, I'll put the pivot heads on. I'm thinking they're gonna be just as hungry in four hours. <laughs> this little one though, look at this. It knows that the food there, they know the food's inside. No, no, little dog. <laughs> Come on, hey. Out you go, out you go. Come on, hey, hey, come here. Out. Come on. Come on, come here, come here. There's, <laughs> come on, out, out, out. Hey, hey, come on. Let's go, let's go. You, you know I'm a big suck. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I know, eh, dogs, dogs. Oh, my soft spot. I'll put the pivot heads on next time, absolutely, for sure. I'm going for a swim because this is my first afternoon that I've been here because we've been doing nothing but running around. So we're waiting for the uh, the official to do my ID, my driver's license and uh, my registration, which we're gonna know later via text from Caesar's wife, Zurichama, uh, if, if everything went through this afternoon. 
we're getting organized here, folks, right now, because uh, I know we're going to do a two-camera action shot. Mm -hmm. So put your beer over there, my friend, <laughs> because you're the cameraman. <laughs> well, backup cameraman. So okay. All right, we're recording. All right. So you're going to watch me feed the ducks. Or the ducks, the dogs. Look at this, eh? Oh, they're all here. Look at the six. I knew there were six dogs today. Oh, little puppies. Look at this, eh? All right, folks, I've discovered today it's cheaper to feed raw meat to the dogs than, uh, um, than dog food because dog food is ridiculously expensive here, isn't it? So the next time I will buy raw meat. Look at this, eh? All right, so we're going to spread this around because everybody fights. But if you watch, they'll eat right out of the bag as you're pouring it. Oh, my little dogs. Hey, oh, relax, everybody relax. <laughs> Too funny, eh? All right. Oh, relax, I know you're hungry. Here. Oh, my, holy. <laughs> the little pup here is, uh, just look at this. Look at that little, oh, this little thing is, doesn't know what to do. Look at it. It's the youngest one, eh? It's the young, I th it's, it's under a year old. Oh, look at them, eh? They're having a, they're, they're going to sleep good tonight. But anyways, it's cheaper to feed them raw meat than it is dog food. These two uh, live together. As you can tell, they can eat side by side. Cool. Poor dogs, eh? We'll get the wood. You only got. Water. Well, they're eating too quick, eh? That's the problem. They need water. It's because they're too excited uh, is why it's happening. Choke her down, little dog. They're like little vacuum cleaners, eh? The way they're cleaning everything up. Caesar's really focusing here with the camera. I'm impressed. He could be a potential YouTuber. <laughs> but I knew today there were six dogs because I fed when they came back later, there was only five. That's hungry dogs, eh? My, my. They're gonna sleep good tonight. I'm gonna have to stop and buy some meat. The duck adventure will uh, pick the tab up. Ready. <laughs> you know, as much as if you kept feeding them or feeding them tonight, they would continue eating, mm -hmm. which would be bad because they're, they're, they shouldn't eat this much that fast. Yeah. Caesar ran the camera on this one, folks. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I was strictly pivoted action and the bag of dog. Just had a little snack of uh, some most wicked uh, tasting sausage. But I gotta give you the view of what I'm looking at while eating my supper. This is, uh, this is the uh, peninsula 
right across from the beach house where I'm staying, which I have the same view uh, from my house. But look at that. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to zoom in here because it's, you, I don't know if the camera's really showing the detail, but I can see the every groove and ridge of the landscape over there. But I can't tell in the little viewfinder, but that's what my, my vista is across looking it, uh, it, my vista my view sorry folks I'm uh, I'm I'm becoming a spaniel <laughs> I'm, uh, they've actually complimented me on my Spanish here they're uh, I don't know if they're just stroking me but they're saying I'm doing well conversations are getting better because I'm understanding a little bit more